guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with Peyton. I'll link her channel down below. We're, today we're going to be filming a video of advice for upcoming middle schoolers. So my first piece of advice is like don't be loud and annoying and obnoxious because like trust me like the older like the people in the older grades will not like you and people just get annoyed with you really easy so just like don't be loud and like know your boundaries I guess. Yeah that's definitely a good one because I feel like when I was in eighth grade the younger kids just seemed pretty annoying and if they act more mature then I'm more likely to like them. <laughs> yeah. Okay I guess I'll do my first one now. Um, don't be afraid of the older students. They're basically your age and it hasn't been too long since they've been in your shoes. So like especially looking back I wasn't in seventh grade all too long ago and yeah really don't be afraid of them they can be a big help sometimes fights are not cute and so like just don't get involved because it just like gives you a bad reputation and I feel like that's just not good for middle school because then people in high school you know won't really want to associate with you because of your past fights yeah you don't want to be that kid mm -mm. I was that kid trust oh, me it's not good yeah I know there were some fights at my school and at one point this kid like punched a concrete wall and he broke his hand so it's just not good you don't want those lasting effects <laughs> my advice is do your best to be organized because teachers will hate going after students for work and they'll eventually just give up so you don't want to have zeros because you can't fix them after like the quarter closes or however your school works so just do your best and keep everything organized my next piece of advice is like be yourself and be outgoing because if you're like more outgoing you're more likely to make more friends and like obviously but like if you are outgoing you can make better friends and like keep your friends throughout middle school and if you're outgoing too if you do like lose a friend you can be more outgoing and make better friends I guess. Right. Um, another one is don't be afraid to ask for help. Teachers are paid to have you learn whatever concept they teach so it doesn't help them out to not help you so just ask your questions and most of the time they'll be happy to help you and then you'll know the content so that's really important my next piece of advice is to like not procrastinate I mean like it's pretty obvious but I know I procrastinated a lot and my grades weren't the best so if you don't procrastinate and you turn your stuff in you should like get pretty good grades as long as you're trying. Yeah, piggybacking off of that, um, use your study hall if you have one. It's really helpful and it's much better to do it during school or do most of it during school and then just have time at home to relax or hang out with friends or something. It's just a lot better. You're given that time and if you goof off, you're first of all probably going to get in trouble and second of all, it's just not worth it. You're sitting in school. Um, do extracurricular activities if you can. You can build much better relationships with other students, but also with teachers if you see them like in your games or whatever clubs you do. It just can help out. Like If you ha make a good relationship with a teacher, then they'll be more willing to like help you out with stuff. Like Even if you just need to talk to somebody, it just makes it a lot easier. Yeah, don't care what other people think. Right, it doesn't matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go subscribe to Peyton Harley and just check out her channel and follow us on Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.